Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we are going to take a look at the prefix sum and the when we can use it. So first let's start with the very simple example. Let's say that we are given an array of integer and we need to calculate the sum of the elements from the index i to index j. So in this case we have an array with the size of 11 and we need to calculate the, of the sum from index i to index j, i is equals to 1 and the j is equals to 7. So what would be the naive approach to solve this problem? The naive approach is, so we are going over our array each time once and we are calculating 1 plus 3 plus 4 plus, uh, plus 5 and so on and our code, our Python code would look like following. So we are initializing a variable total and we are going from index i to index j adding that to our total and the returning the whatever our result is the time complexity of this solution is of n can we do better than that can we reduce this time complexity yes we can do and what we are going to do is we are going to use a prefix sum for the prefix sum we are going to create an array with the exactly the same size and what we are going to do for each case we are going to add the sum of the all previous elements so for example the first element is zero the the first index for the zero this the value is two for the index one we are adding whatever the value was at index zero so two plus one gives us three next one is so we are adding whatever the value at index two plus whatever the value of index three. So the sum of the all elements until that index. So three plus three gives us six. And uh, then next one is four, right? So four plus six gives us 10. And the same way we are populating all our array. We are populating all our array. And when now when we receive a request to calculate the, to calculate the sum from index i to index j, we are simply taking the value. So we are not summing, we are not going over array every time. We are simply taking the value from index j and the subtracting the value from index i. So for example, in this case, p, uh, so prefix sum I, j minus prefix sum i, 31 minus three gives us 28. And the Python code in this case, so we are running two methods. First one is that the calculate prefix sum, which is creating a new array and which is uh, adding up to that array uh, all our values and it's a global variable, we are calling the calculate prefix sum only once. And every time now when we are calling a sum range, we are just uh, taking the prefix sum, the new array that we have just uh, pre-calculated all the values. We are taking the value of the j minus whatever the value of the of the i and we are returning that. In this case, our time complexity of the sum range is now reduced to of one because it's constant. And uh, what's the time and space complexity? Again, time complexity, as we have mentioned, it's reduced to of one, but in this case, we are using extra space. So our extra space is of n because we are creating a new array with the same size as our initial array. Okay, uh, that's it for today. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.